Let's go. Lo Fi Poly Sign Mark Pickering here talking about our famous question What's going on in the world today? And to the actions of Homo sapiens everywhere we go. Out to New Zealand we start, where sad news came to us all last week as the world's only matriarchy is losing their matriarch. The Prime Minister of New Zealand, Jacinda Ardern, is stepping down after six years on the job. We're sorry to see you go, but happy you were here while you were. Who's going to replace her now? Well, that's a bit of a question mark, and we'll have to wait and see, and we'll let you know more as we do. Now, in other women's rights news, to the country of Sierra Leone in West Africa we go now. A new law has gone into effect, mandating that all companies with 25 or more employees, that 30% of their workforce must be female. It also mandates that 30% of all government jobs must go to women. And even 30% of the cabinet of the president must be women. These are minimums now. And people who violate this new law that is now currently in effect can face up to five years in prison, as well be fined, and depending on the severity of the violation. And Sierra Leone taking interesting steps to secure women in the workforce. I dig it. I dig it a lot. Now imagine if another country we knew did this. You know, you know that one, North of Mexico, South of Canada. How interesting would that be? Am I right? Am I right? Next up, staying in West Africa, let's take a ride on over to Nigeria, Africa's largest economy as measured by GDP, that's gross domestic product, as well as Africa's largest country by population, which when you mix those two figures, you get a statistic that makes this story far, far more interesting. The Nigerian government, for the first time in 17 years, is going to take a census of their population. Let that sink in for a second. 17 years since they've counted the people in their country. Now to our earlier two statistics, what do you get when you mix GDP and the population of a country? You get GDP per capita. But you need the population of the country for that to work. So, questions. Do we have GDP per capita data for Nigeria for the past 17 years? Answer, yes, we do. Next question, how? Answer, United Nations estimates. Mapping earlier population growth rates and assuming those rates hold constant, then applying it to every year, et voila, GDP per capita, estimates for a country that hasn't had a census in 17 years. See, I'm curious, though, how will this census match up with those estimates we've been using in the data for all these past years. It'll be a great test of our methodology that we use a lot for a lot of developing countries across the world. Now, let's head on over to France, where, like in so many other places these days, people are protesting. Like, over a million people were protesting in France this weekend. In over 200 cities nationwide. People were on the streets. And for what, you may ask? What does it take to get over a million people out to protest on the weekend? Well, simple. Threaten them with two more years of work. That's right, the French government has proposed raising the retirement age from 62 years old to 64 years old, so by two years. And the French, well, at least over a million that went out to protest, they want none of this. And I'm so curious to see if the French government backs off now that so many people came out and protested against it. And I'm curious to hear from you. How do you think retiring at 62, 64, how's that sound to you? Write in, people, write in. And a last piece of news to send you on your way for the day. You ever been in the back of a car, you know, like a, a moving car, and felt like making an Instagram reel or just felt like going live, but then you felt too restricted by those pesky seatbelts. So you just take off the seatbelt in a moving car, record yourself and post it to Instagram, and then oh, you realize you just posted proof that you violated the country seatbelt law for everyone to see. And then you realize you're the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. What more is there to say? Talk to me, people. I want to hear your words. Right into the show. Connect to us. Always remember that Lo-Fi Poly Sci is more than just me. It's the we that we be. Talk to you tomorrow, Lo-Fi listeners. Pickering, signing off.